God bless you, loved ones. Welcome to the Word with Chester. Today we'll begin study in the 24th chapter of the book of Genesis. I am so grateful for you for uh, logging on and watching this ministry. So many of you on a regular basis. I want you to know that it is appreciated and I pray for you daily and I appreciate your support. I also ask that you pray for me on a daily basis that God will bless me and give me the strength and the financial means to take this ministry to where it needs to be. I thank God for your uh, encouraging words and, and all of the things that you do to encourage me. But I need your prayers. We need to intercede God together. For, for without God's help, we couldn't do anything anyway. Without the help of the Lord, we would be at a standstill. But with Him and through Him, we can do great things. I need your prayers to pray for me. Number one, that God will give me long life and good health so I can continue uh, preaching the Word of God in the manner that He has given me. Well, shall we begin our study today? We'll begin at verse 1 in chapter 24. This is a lengthy chapter. This chapter is uh, well over 60 verses, 67 verses to be exact. So we will have to split this chapter up. Uh, uh, maybe uh, we'll have three sessions in this chapter. But I ask that you stay with us and, and let God bless you through the Word of God. The Word of God is powerful, it's quick, it's powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit. So let the Word do a, jo a job in you, let Him do a work in you, and get you to where you need to be in Him. Well, shall we begin reading at verse 1, chapter 24. The Bible reads, And Abraham was old and well stricken in age, and the Lord had blessed Abraham in all things. Well, imagine Abraham being old. He was a, a hundred years old when Isaac was born. A hundred years old. Imagine that now. And uh, Sarah died of some uh, uh, 37 years after Isaac had uh, been born. Uh, 37 years. Years and uh, uh, here Abraham had outlived Sarah. So I don't know exactly how many years after Isaac was born that Abraham died, but uh, the man was well up in his hundreds. He was in his hundreds. Uh, uh, so uh, he was old. The Bible said Abraham was old and well stricken in age, and the Lord had blessed Abraham in all things. Well, shall we continue reading? And Abraham said uh, unto his eldest servant of his house, the ruler over all that he had, put, I pray thee, thy hand under my thigh. Well, this, is a, this was a way of, of them swearing or giving an oath uh, between one another. In verse 3, and I will make thee swear by the Lord uh, and the, the God of heaven and the God of the earth that thou shalt not take a wife unto my son of the daughters of the Canaanites among whom I dwell. He didn't want uh, Isaac to find a wife or marry someone of that of that uh, that country, the Canaanites. Uh, number one, you got we're talking about two different cultures. We're talking about two different people. Uh, and Abraham loving the Lord versus uh, uh, versus these uh, people that did not have a God background like uh, like Abraham did or have that faith in God. So Abraham did not want his son to take a wife of that nation. Uh, shall we continue read? In verse 4, But thou shalt go into my country and to my kindred and take a wife unto my, uh, to my son Isaac. And the servant said unto him, Suppose the woman will not be willing to follow me into the land, but I, need, uh, but I needs bring thy son again unto the land from where thou camest. Uh, in other words, he was sending his servant down there. But can you understand the servant's concern? I need to take Isaac with me so they can have, they can have something to see. Uh, so shall I read five again for clarification? And the servant said unto him, Suppose the woman uh, will not be willing to follow me into the land. Must I need bring thy son again unto the land from where thou came, camest? I need to take your son there. That way that he will, they will know that I'm not just somebody saying words trying to pull the woman off. Uh, so he took, uh, so this was, this was his words uh, in question form to Abraham. Verse 6, And Abraham said unto him, Be... Uh, beware thou that, that thou bring not my son 
uh, there again. Be, uh, uh, let me read it. And Abraham said unto him, uh, Beware thou that thou bring not my son there again. Shall we read in verse 7, uh, uh, the Lord God of heaven who took me from my father's house uh, and from the land of my kindred and, uh, 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 and who spoke unto me uh, and who swore unto me, saying, Until thy seed will I give this land, he that he shall send his angel before thee, uh, and thou shalt take a wife unto my son from there. Well, can you understand? Get the picture. Uh, so so uh, uh, this was uh, Abraham's eldest servant, had been with him uh, for, for many, many years. And, and let me let you know something. He had to trust him because he was sending him away uh, with, with uh, a great amount of wealth going down into that land for him to carry out the deed deed that he said. Uh, most of the time when someone's a servant, if they can see freedom uh, and see where they can make it to by themselves, a lot of time people will take off and do it. Shall I read seven again and continue? Uh, the Lord God of heaven who took me from, the fa from my father's house and from the land of my kindred and who spoke unto me uh, and who swore unto me, saying, Unto thy seed will I give this land, uh, who shall send his angel before thee, and thou shalt take a wife unto my son from there. Verse 8, And if the woman will not be willing to follow thee, uh, then thou shalt be clear from this this my oath, uh, my uh, only, bring not my son there again. Can you understand what he's saying here? Uh, uh, the, the servant, if he went down, if the woman would not follow him or would not come with him, uh, then he's free from the oath. But don't take my son there. This is what Abraham is saying in him. In verse 9, uh, and uh, thy servant, uh, and the servant put his hand under the thigh of Abraham, uh, his master, and swore to him concerning that matter. And the servant took ten camels uh, of the camels of his master uh, and departed for all the good uh, for all the goods of his master were uh, in his hand. And he arose and went to Mesopotamia and to the city of Nahor. Can you understand? Uh, Abraham made him swear that he would carry out this oath. This servant had the goods of Abraham and so uh, so many riches and things of that nature that Abraham was sitting down into that era, uh, area. Uh, shall we read in verse 11? And he made his camel to kneel down uh, outside the city of the well of water. And uh, the time of the evening, uh, even the time that women go out to draw water, uh, what are you talking about? They wait till the cool of the evening when, when it starts to cool down, when the sun is not so high and it's not so very hot. Well, they would go out in the evening time or the cool of the evening when the temperatures start to drop uh, to draw water. Well, let's read in verse 12. And he said, O Lord of, of my master Abraham, I, I pray thee, send me good, uh, me good speed this day, uh, and show kindness unto my master Abraham. Uh, well, you got to understand, Abraham was a praying man with a relationship with God, so all of his house had to learn how to pray. And, and here, uh, his servant was praying and asking God to make his trip fruitful. Uh, in other words, don't send me down here for nothing, but let everything work out for me and my my. Uh, my uh, master Abraham, uh, as we read 13, uh, Behold, I stand here by the well of water, and the daughters of the men uh, of the city came out to draw water. In verse 14, And let it come to pass that the damsel to whom I shall say, uh, Let down thy pitcher, uh, uh, I pray thee uh, that I may drink, uh, and she shall say, uh, Drink, and I will give thy camel Give thy camel drink also. Uh, let her be the one whom thou hast appointed for thy servant Isaac. Uh, and thereby shall I know that thou hast shown kindness uh, unto my master. Uh, well, can you understand? The servant is talking to the, to the Lord. In other words, putting out a fleece. Uh, let this be the one. Let it be the one. Uh, saying, Lord, uh, I, 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 I want these. I want it to happen like this. So I'll know this is the one. Well, shall we read verse 15? 
And it came to pass, uh, before he had finished speaking, uh, that behold, Rebekah came out uh, and was born to, uh, uh, who was born to uh, Bethuel, son of uh, Melchi, the wife of Nahor, Abram's brother, Abraham's brother, with her picture upon her shoulders. Uh, so Rebekah came out. Uh, shall we continue reading? And the damsel was very fair to look upon. That means she was pretty. She was just gorgeous. Just drop dead gorgeous. Uh, and the damsel was very fair to look upon. Uh, a virgin, neither had any man known her. Uh, and she went down into the well and filled her pitchel, picture uh, and came up. Uh, verse 17, uh, and the servant ran to meet her. And, so, and said, let me drink, I pray thee. Uh, drink a little water from thy picture. Uh, and this is the, the fleece that he put out there with God and said, let it happen like this. Uh, in verse 18, and she said, drink, my Lord. And she hastened and let down her picture upon her head uh, and gave him drink. Uh, well, uh, uh, you got to understand how they carry the water. And I've seen it in televisions. And, and I think and even in some lands, they carry water like that on on their head, uh, and uh, uh, so it's, it's, it's something that, that uh, uh, she let that picture down off her head and gave him the drink. In verse 18, and she said, drink my Lord, and she hastened and let down her picture upon her head and gave him drink. In verse 19 it reads, and when she had finished giving him drink, she said, I will draw water for thy camels also until, uh, until they have finished drink, uh, can't drinking. Can you understand? Uh, just like he had said, Lord, let it happen, happen like this. Uh, it happened just like he, did, he had asked uh, when Rebecca came out. Uh, exactly like he had asked. Now, we're going to read further about this, this amazing love story here. Uh, we're going to read further about it and, and uh, get some more intelligence of what the Word of God is saying to us. Uh, but God had, special, uh, had someone special for Isaac. And, and sometimes it seems like you ain't going to never get the right one, but God always has somebody for you, especially if you have a, a, a divine calling on your life. Uh, God has someone special for you. Uh, so this is the case of Isaac, and, and Rebecca came down uh, and answered all the prayers that the servant had prayed uh, and said, Lord, let it happen like this. Uh, it happened exactly like that. When Rebecca came out, uh, uh, she came out like like a, a, a normal day in the evening hours to draw water uh, into the pictures. Uh, and the servant saw her just like he had asked God for. Uh, he went and down the, the down letter for letter, uh, just like he had asked, God had answered that prayer. Uh, we're going to read about it in the... Uh, in the uh, next lesson, I encourage you to be here. I want you to know God will answer your prayers as well. If you get on your knees and talk to him and ask him to help you, especially in situations you have no control over, and watch him answer you. Uh, I believe God answer pr answers prayers. I know he answers prayers. Uh, he's answered my prayers, and I thank God for it. Uh, he will do the same for you if, you if you fall before him humbly and talk to him uh, and let him know what's in your heart. I serve a God like that. He's that way for me, and he will be there for you. I want you to know I love you, my friends. I love you with the love of the Lord. If you would like to contact me for any reason, you can write me at the Word with Chester Ministries. Write me a letter. The Word with Chester Ministries, Post Office Box 200483, San Antonio, Texas, 78220. You can also reach me at my website, www dot poems by Chester dot com that's p o e m s b y c h e s t e r dot com that's poems by Chester dot com remember our toll free number one eight sixty six two six seven zero two one one give us a call and someone will be there to answer your call remember I love you my friends I love you with the love of the Lord. If you would like to purchase our CD, go to iTunes, go to TuneCore, go to Amazon.com, put in our name where it says artist, uh, 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 just punch in our name, Chester L. Figure Sr. Our work will come up and you, 
you will be able to buy uh, this entire album if you, you desire, or you can buy digital, digitally uh, one song at a time, uh, and God will bless you. The, the music is wonderful. I guarantee you, you will enjoy the music, uh, and you will also be a blessing to this ministry. Uh, you can also buy our book uh, at Amazon.com and uh, other places on the World Wide Web. Uh, it's very easy to do, uh, and all you got to do is click on uh, uh, click on, uh, punch in my name uh, at Amazon or any of the places that are sold. You can buy them in ebook form. You can buy it in hard copy form, however you desire. I believe it's a good book, and everyone who has read it has told me that they've enjoyed it immensely. I, I want you to know I love you, my friends. I love you with the love of the Lord. God bless you.